What is going on guys, your boy Hayden Hayes, welcome back to part 4 of the Red Dead Redemption Let's Play. So, uh, we're just going to be continuing where we left off from part 3. If you guys did not see part 3, we basically just went hunting for a big huge legendary bear, which was part of a story mission. So that happened. And um, we also kind of went off story mode and got the uh, Arabian horse. It's super, super fast. So we got the Arabian horse and i think that was about it and then we also kind of are working to get our outfit but we have to get more money to fully complete it and we have to go hunting for some legendary animals so that's basically where we're at um so yeah let's go ahead and get this started then uh let me just double check make sure everything's working well on the youtubes and then we can just continue the Yep, it looks like everything as well. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, we're just going to go ahead and just continue playing. So, how are you guys doing anyway? Um, by the way, I saw Bohemian Rhapsody. I did see it when it came when it came out, what is it, last Friday? But I forgot to say it on stream. Awesome movie. Really, really great movie. You guys need to go see it. Tragic ending, but it is a great movie. And the actor who played him, I don't know the actor's name, uh, who played, what's his name, uh, Freddie Mercury. So well done. Everything was just, hundred, like, so well done. It's crazy. So, yeah, go see it. I recommend it 100%. Next movie I want to see is Overlord. It looks, I think it's Overlord. Something like that. It looks so good. So we did leave off here. Let's go to this stranger mission real quick. So yeah, look at my Arabian horse. And we got a gray saddle with him. Man, we are ready. Can I get a few cents, man? I thought I already had donated to the homeless vet. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I thought I already did this. Hey, what the heck? Mister. Mister. I never learned your name. Oh, he's did. back. You're like a brother, but I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. Is he you'll tired? <laughs> he's just tired. Your puppy passed. Because you slept on it. What's your name, mister? Arthur. Arthur? Arthur? My... Uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. You don't have to. Oh, whoa. Yes, <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck? This guy's a little weird, man. A little bit weird. My king. Jesus. Sir. Let's go trigger this stranger mission real quick. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Who's your friend there? <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The. The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi. I'm Alpha. sure he did. <laughs> <Look at him. laughs> and well, I reckon right now, you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. <laughs> What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, 
bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, hey, Billy that's... Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said <laughs> what? that. You want me to go and find some what the sad, heck? deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other well, flop house. There's that. Um, Jesus, so now we have to find gunslingers. Watch out. Does he need sleep? He looks a little rust. He looks a little tired. I think we're going to go sleep. I might need a bounty. Might need some money. Uh, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? Oh, no, yeah. Good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. Wait, what's the I'll money? See what I can do. Well, good luck to you. How much is the money? Well, what do you mean the money's good? I didn't even get to see. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Okay. Yeah, you're all right, girl. This horse This horse is so fast and so good, yet she gets agitated every time. Super fast, look at it. Boom, boom. Speedy Gonzalez. Investigate the gorge. Yes, sir! I will do that right now. Holy fuck me. What the fuck? I didn't even mean to! I didn't even mean to. What do you mean? What do you mean I died? And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Huh. Let's go, horse. We ain't got time for this nonsense. It 
it's a girl. She's fast. Sure, we can just go down here. Is that not the way? Jesus, what did I get myself into, man? God. Easy, girl. I think that's him. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that, dude. The bounty was spooked. I did not mean to do that at all. I did not want to shoot him. Yeah. Hey, you're okay, girl. Hey. Uh, what we got here? Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir. Huh. Kind of look like him. But I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard of, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just. My mother's real sick. Oh, uh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in Caught the Caught red-handed. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. <laughs> folks get yeah, I totally will take it. Yeah. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Uh -oh. Shit. Jesus. Oh, oh, you saved me. Now come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. <sighs> Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Or, or what? You, you idiot. Don't wrong. jump. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. Damn it. Really do not like you. I'll take my chances. What chances? You're gonna die, bro. Have you seen yourself? And we're gonna die off this damn cliff. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Come here. 
God. Friend, I'll beat you. I'm not God. I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. <laughs> he just punched him. Wait, did he knock him out? <laughs> what the heck? This is hey, that's not bad money. Gold wedding ring, hell yeah. Give me all your valuables, uh. I like my white Arabian horse, man. So fast. Oh, oh uh, sir. I think I must be suffering from exposure. Suffer a little longer. <laughs> Bro, he just stuck the shit out of him. Gonna wake up here. Watch this. Like this. Oh. Sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a what the hell? Oh, I don't feel very well. I'd be embarrassed I if I just fell like that in front of everyone up. in the town. Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Are you more in it? Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not. Was, uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. <laughs> oh, oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh... Good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offering? Uh, fifty dollars. Oh my God! Thank yes, that's you. what I needed. That's the last bit of that I needed. Please remember what I told you. I think I needed that much for my coat. Fifty dollar ruse. Heck yes. Give me the $50 ruse, sir. Huh? I'm gonna go buy my last bit of, uh. I knew you'd be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Give me my stuff. I can get you anything in there you need. Uh, what were we gonna buy? Oh, yeah, clothing. And a jacket, I think. A coat. So. What were we going with? Shotgun. This one. Not that one. Not that one. Either. I sell out of that pretty fast. It was this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yeah, sir. Yes, I'm sir. So I bought. What have I bought? I think I bought this one. In white. No, I might have bought the other one. I don't know this one. This one? Yeah, but I bought that one in white. Feller was telling me the daughter at Emerald Ranch don't leave the house no more. Been locked in up there for a couple years now. Daughters in Emerald Ranch? Hold up. This might lead me to something. Hold up. Daughters in Emerald Ranch. And my hair tonic too, sir. Please. Where's my hair tonic? No hair tonic? Hair pomade. 
Do you not have hair tom tonic, sir? Let me look at that catalog. So, Emerald Ranch. Where the hell is Emerald Ranch? Hair tonic. Enjoy. <laughs> we got him to sell out of his air tonic. All right. Hold up. Keep looking. Let me. Emerald Ranch. Hmm. Emerald Ranch. Here it is. Should go check that out at some point. But right now we need to get Don't some story missions now. done. Thank you. Yeehaw, let's go. Calm down now. She freaks out too much. It is a level one horse though, so I mean I kinda get it, but Please don't make me buy horse revive, thank you. Well, now we have to go shower. Look at all those chicken. You and me is one thing, but would you at least try to make an effort with the boy? If it'll shut you up, I'll try. But father ain't nothing I know about. Dutch, I need you to do me a favor. Nothing to... Serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. Okay. Herr Strauss. Well, Herr Strauss. Herr Strausser. Let me go take a shower and then change clothing first, sir. Where can I take a shower? Um, where can I bathe this wonderful body of mine? Hello? I is looking for a place to bathe, sir. Hmm. Come on, people, it's ready. The stew's ready? Is that what's ready? I need to bathe first, sir. Why does it keep saying land cable? Can I not bathe? Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. 
Well, more missions. And I can't find the damn place to shower. So, guess who's not going to take a shower? Me. This fella. Me. Um. There really is no other place to shower, huh? God. Well, uh, let me go to my wardrobe, sir. Oh my god, look at his face. Ugh. So, no hats. We're gonna go with no hat. No coat. The duster coat is pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Him is the wolf hawk coat. But no coat. Vest. Yeah. Damn, look at this one. Jesus. Nice vest, man. Pants, that's all good. Yeah. That's all good. My chips. Okay, so boots, spurs, masks. Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> that does not. Just make it wider and then have the cone on top. And you're definitely something else now. <laughs> what the heck? We have to roll with a bandana, of course. <sighs> Jesus. I'm tired. Oof, no part is a gun belt. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Band of liar. Yeah, I'm gonna roll with my band of liar. Satchels. Where my spurs go? Why does it keep saying land cable not connected? Like, bruh. We gotta get some food soon, Arthur. Food or money, or these bastards will eat up. I know, Dutch. I'm trying. I know. Is this because I haven't contributed anything to the... I don't know how I like that bandolier. Around. Might get rid of it. It looks a little too much. I don't know. Where was it? Weapon equipment. Then he looks kind of weird just carrying his damn satchel around. Nah. He needs to look like a man. Like a good man. Yeah, that's going to cover it up. We got it. We got it. We look good now. We look good now. Oh, it's not suitable for cold weather on your horse. No shit. Let me do some chores around this place. If there's wood needs cutting, I'll cut the damn wood. Hey, Arthur, what you want? Man, you one sour son of a bitch, ain't you? <laughs> Only when I see you. Oh, Only when I see you. <laughs> He's drunk. Yeah. My God. 
Well, what do we do now? We should go do this K mission then. Might as well. Hello. Put in a good word, would you? Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> what? Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! <laughs> One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld here. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, no, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up. These you're little right. fellers off. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are you sure as shit was? John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You gonna pay your buddies off. Wait, John's rolling with us now? Finally? He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. It's okay, girl. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say, I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. Why does he keep saying land cable not connected? I smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. <laughs> hey, hey, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Look at me, I'm such a badass. You didn't tell me what the old Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. That's because you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. Well, I smell like a stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd be smelling worse if we'd done what someone was arguing for. Granted, granted, I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends if I can. You don't know the half. I do know Combe killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with. A woman killer. Well, it was after he killed his brother. And the way I understood it, uh... Making excuses for the man. And his crimes. 
What kind of trap you lead us into, boy? I ain't. I'm trying to help, honest. One thing goes wrong. One thing other than you smelling funny, you're the first O'Driscoll will shoot. Uh, and quit breathing on my neck. The road will take us up and round. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. <laughs> We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where. It was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. Well, 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 what do I need? We go pump action, baby. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Do I have the knives? Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you lose your balls first. <laughs> Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. Look at John, dude. It's so nice seeing him back. Fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers? Yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. 
I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I... Got him. You know what's really quiet? A knife. Sooner we get this over with. What the hell is this? Oh, oh my god. I left a guide up there. He's meek as a middle leg. He better be. Got to loot the other guy. John, it's your turn. Marston. Okay, get your hands dirty for a change. <laughs> yes. Jesus. Oh, yeah, Jesus, <laughs> Marston. Okay. Damn. Now what? We're at the perimeter. Well, let me loot the some bitch first. Gold pocket watch. Oh, these guys are loaded. Did I not bring my shoddy? I swear to God, if I did not bring my shoddy. Mother of Pearl. Oh, mother of... That dude's artery is blown up. I would have really appreciated my shot of him. Oh, too far up, too far up. Hey, you look out here. What are you holding, Old Driscoll? What are you 
We gotta loot all this sh stuff too. Set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I swear. I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. True. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. Get lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> Right you are. Well, I'll take these money clips, sir. Thank you. Eleven dollars. Jesus. Eleven dollars. Give me some more. Dad, please. Wow. Oof. Hell yeah. Let's clean this bad boy up. Daddy. <laughs> I like this gun. It's ours now, baby. Hell yeah. Got a little guest here, by the way, guys. $600. Holy moly. Oh, heck yes. We're gonna loot everything here. Everything, man. These guys were stacked. That's it. Our oh boys, we are loaded. Wanted. Why am I wanted? I want to go back to loot everything, but <laughs> uh, 
Let's try to go back. Jesus. Oh, they're not there anymore. That is... That sucks. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Let's go through one more mission, and then we're going to call this good. Fort Wallace. Why is that red? Well, we still need... Uh, Reverend Swanson. Javier Escuela and Hosea. Let's go to Reverend Swanson. Hosea is over there. Valentine is there. Were those lawmen? I think they were lawmen. Man of the law. I'm gonna stop by camp, I think, to take a quick, some quick sleep, because I think he's tired. Take something. For the horse? No, let's do it. The Miracle Tonic. Oh, yes. Is it already morning? There's no way. Oh. I think it's just plain dark outside. Oh, my horse is really dirty. Hold on, let me get out and brush this bad boy. Easy, girl. You're okay. Won't take long.
What a beauty she is. What a beauty. Yes, you are. You are a beauty. Oh, you can kick people? What the heck, man? Why did, why did I lose honor from that? Man, I was trying to help him out. Idiot. Oh, stranger mission. What's this guy got for us? Did the university send you? Exhuming? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Nincompoop? Everywhere. This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. <sighs> Good day to you, sir. Dinosaur bones, zero out of thirty found. Let's go, girl. Well, <laughs> dinosaur bones, it is. Uh, let's go do that reverend mission, man. Reverend. You hear, Reverend? Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. 
I have removed myself from Morpheus' embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. Hey, none of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? No. I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I got to get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. <laughs> He's like, home. I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend. Reverend Swanson. Where'd you go? Uh, he died. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. your hands off him I didn't say a word you'll keep you stay out of it get your hands off him now I'll kill you both you bastard Going down. Come on. You want a pair of damn fools? Hell yeah. You better stop right there. Stay away from me. I said stop. Damn it. You tell anyone. Okay. You okay. Back there? Please don't hurt me. You understand me? Good. Get the hell out of here. <sighs> now what? Where's Reverend? Oh no. This is the most appropriate song for this mission. <laughs> He's such. What is he doing? Swanson! Damn, we gotta get up there. Reverend, you're gonna die, my friend. Just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Help! Jesus, man. Thanks. 
strength, uh, sir. Uh, oh, no, you don't. <sighs> what the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that. There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard. <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? <laughs> what kind of a... <laughs> I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> Oh, my lord. So sleepy. Will you shut up? Yep. What am I gonna get to like bonding level two? When he'd show up. Very well. Good. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Thank you, Arthur. I should have known. Get that fool back to his tent to sleep it off. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Uh, uh, oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <coughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. All right, boys, so that is it. It seems like that is going to be it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption. We still have many missions. One, two, three, four, and a lot of stranger tasks to do. So there's still a lot of stuff to do in the game. Um, but I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, I don't think anyone was here on stream, sad, but on the video, I'd really appreciate you guys if you made it this far. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on the next part.